They made a mistake. They tried to cover it. They tried to put it out. It's like a fire. You know, it's really like trying to put out a fire. They couldn't put out the fire. What they really treated the world badly on, they stopped people going into China, but they didn't stop people going into the USA and all over the world. President Trump, they're accusing China of trying to cover up the coronavirus pandemic back when it was first starting to spread. Leaked documents show that seems to be the case. A bombshell report claims the Chinese government used internet trolls to censor information after a top doctor who first warned about the threat a year ago died of the virus in February. Dan Hoffman is a former CIA station chief who served in Moscow, Iraq, and Pakistan. He also is a Fox News contributor. Dan, thanks for uh, joining us to talk about this topic. This is one of the uh, hottest things in news right now uh, all around the world. Um, how right was the president when he talked about China's efforts there in that, in that little soundbite? And how nefarious uh, were they, these very widespread, uh, more than a cover-up, uh, to try to change the messaging as the coronavirus was beginning to spread across China and without any prevention of keeping their citizens home and, and all across the world? Right. Well, you know, the Communist Party of China uh, seeks to use social media and media writ large to oppress their own population, not inform them. And uh, that's what these documents show, a fairly sophisticated bit of tradecraft on China's part, where they sought to control the content on the Internet to try to create um, a false uh, set of data, which would indicate that China was keeping the virus under control, that the authorities were very competent in terms of how they were dealing with this health crisis, and that there was absolutely uh, no reason whatsoever to panic. Of course, we know that's not true. China concealed the onset of the uh, pandemic as well as its severity, uh, and that caused, obviously, uh, a global health pandemic. Mm -hmm. I, I want to share this quote. This is from the New York Times ProPublica report. It's their piece that sort of detailed some of these documents that have now come to light. Uh, and in their report, this is almost like paying homage to the doctor uh, who was the initial world-famous whistleblower that tried to draw attention to this in China. Ali Wenlang. They ordered news websites not to issue push notifications alerting readers to his death. They told social platforms to gradually remove his name from trending topics pages. And they activated legions of fake online commentators to flood social sites with distracting chatter, stressing the need for discretion. So here he was, Dr. Lee, who had bravely come forward, had received all this pushback from the government, ultimately succumbed to COVID-19 himself. And even in his death, this report shows that the Chinese government worked to continue to try and cover up all the lies, all his efforts to save lives, not just in China, but really all around the world. I mean, what does this say to their continuing effort even today? Well, he was, you know, ringing alarm bells in early January and then announced that he himself had caught the coronavirus and died February 7 of, uh, of this year. And it was, he was one of many uh, Chinese doctors um, who were likewise trying to ring the alarm bells, who took their Hippocratic oath seriously, but Chinese intelligence and their state Orwellian state uh, system of repression really threatened these doctors uh, and tried to do everything they could, and they were successful in ensuring that they tamped down on, uh, on all the warnings, the indications and warnings about this threat. And that's, again, what caused uh, so much uh, damage uh, to both to China and the world writ large. China also never collaborated with the rest of the world on, on a virus, uh, on, on dealing, with a, um, dealing with the virus, uh, whether it was finding a, a cure for it uh, or taking other measures. And again, they just tried to, uh, they tried to conceal as much as they could, and now we're seeing uh, the damage that it caused. Yeah, and worldwide investigations uh, are continuing. It's still hard to get information out of China. A former CIA chief, uh, Dan Hoffman, station chief, Dan Hoffman, thank you so much for joining us. And we'll be right back.